Imagine a car run by air. Is that possible? Solution Air is saying yes. And I'm glad to have you here at the Green Tech Festival live stream today. Thanks a lot for Thanks. joining me. Thank you. Rudy, you are the director of Solution Air. Yes. And um, why are you an exhibitor at the Green Tech Festival this year? Because uh, we have to announce something new to the world. Uh, and that is that we can change every existing engine in a car to a car which is driving on air, compressed air technology. So could and you just describe a little bit more your product you are presenting? Yes, uh, the product is uh, that we change the injection of uh, existing cars. We take out 10% of uh, engine of an existing car and we put our head, uh, our injection head on the, on the car. We change uh, the fuel tank and we put our air tank uh, under the car. And at that moment you are able to drive a few hundred kilometers with that car on compressed air. And you have the same performance as before. So it means if you have 500 horsepower, you still have 500 horsepower. Uh, your speed, the speed is the same, you can drive 250 without any problem on air. Of course, it consumes a little bit more at that, uh, at that time. But anyway, it is uh, perfectly possible. It is a product we have tested uh, about 10 years. We are working on 10 years on that uh, product. And the last four years are uh, labo tests and field tests. So we have uh, cars driving on, uh, on the road, more than one million kilometers. They, al they already have done. We have it in France, we mm -hmm. have it in Italy, we have it in the Netherlands. So uh, the, the, the product is tested and is, uh, well, it's good. That sounds like a real game changer, right? It is a game changer, I'm, think. I'm thinking also because uh, we are going to start, because we have a lot of questions uh, from governments, yeah. uh, to start with uh, the uh, vans. To, to change the engine of the vans because, uh, for example, the Netherlands, they say in 2025, uh, no uh, car on uh, gasol or, 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 or fuel may enter the, the, the city. So they have a lot of problems. Or people must change all to electrical cars or they Bikes. change their car yeah. and it is less uh, expensive. Of course. Um, but you said you were testing it, or you are testing it right at the moment, right? So when will I be able to, to use your technology? Right. The technology, as told before, we uh, will start production in September of this year. Mm -hmm. And we start production for vans. That's, uh, that's uh, the demand of the government. Afterwards, we will go to cars. So it will be, let's say, 2022, 2023, uh, you will be able to change your car into an uh, air-driven, uh, air-powered car. That sounds great. Which industries can uh, profit from your or oh, from compressing air solution? Yeah, we have uh, the total uh, mobility, uh, the, 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 the cars, the vans, the trucks, the, the buses, the, the, the boats. The heavier and it gets, the harder it gets, right? Yes, yeah. and we also uh, have developed a, a filling station for house. It means you can fill your car uh, at your house, but with the same installation, you also can uh, power up electricity, you can uh, heat your house, you can cool your house, house and even pump up water if it is possible you you were talking about the netherlands as one as one country who has to do who has to change something do you face any political challenges as well uh, the political challenge we have of course is that every country at the moment is uh, pushing uh, the electrical uh, mm -hmm. electricity uh, cars the battery cars but the the, the countries and, and the governments which know about our technology they are really uh, uh, surprised that uh, that it exists uh, like you yeah. <laughs> uh, and they really want to help us uh, they, they say okay if this technology exists we are going to help you why because they can uh, easily uh, uh, support our technology. They don't have to put uh, everywhere filling uh, pillars for electricity, uh, which costs millions of uh, euros. They don't have to do that because we uh, have some uh, matching uh, with the uh, garage, with the service centers. Mm -hmm. The service centers, if they change the engine, they must be able to fill the car. Otherwise, they cannot start the car anymore after changement. So every uh, service center will put a container 
outside for their clients, but also for uh, other clients. And the clients arrive at the filling station, they put four euro on it, they fill their car and they are driving 600 kilometers. And this, this uh, filling station is independent. So we put on the roof four uh, windmills, we put uh, 12 solar panels on the roof, and it is completely working independent, so green. And that that's, that's why we are also here at uh, Green, Green Tech, Tech Festival. Festival. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense, obviously. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are your products and solutions designed from scratch with regards to sustainability, sustainability and circularity? Uh, absolutely. We, uh, we have, uh, our product is completely green. So we have uh, uh, regard very well uh, not to use electricity, not to use uh, fuels uh, to power up our, our, uh, our energy. We can do it in, uh, independently. We don't use anything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, really from scratch on uh, a new developed product. Yeah. And what are you searching for or looking for at the Green Tech Festival in the following days? Uh, to, to talk with people. Mm -hmm. uh, to talk with uh, with uh, with with the uh, high uh, level people who are who are here, uh, invited by uh, by Nico and uh, yeah all his staff, uh, and we are really uh, announcing our product uh, to the world via Green Tech Festival. So there's actually a lot of mobility themes as well. So mm -hmm. it's perfect match for you, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's why uh, we want really want to be here. <laughs> I was a bit, little bit late, but. We are here. So Solution Air can be a real game changer for mobility in the future. Thanks a lot for joining us, Rudy. Thank you very much Take for care. this interview. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>